Hi everyone, we are now in topic 3 of quarter 1 in our pre-calculus subject which talks about ellipsis. The competency at the end of the session, the students define and determine the standard form of equation of an ellipse. The overview. An ellipse is one of the conic sections. Its shape is a bounded curve which looks like a flattened circle. The orbits of the planets in our solar system around the sun happen to be elliptical in shape. Also, just like parabolas, ellipses have reflective properties that have been used in construction of certain structures. This module will discuss the definition and how to determine the standard form of equation of an ellipse. Okay, let us review the geometric definition relies on a cone and a plane intersecting it. Okay, diba? When uh, the ellipse, when the cone and the plane intersect and then tilted ang atong slant, slanting position ang atong plane um, intersects a uh, cone, then we can form an ellipse. The algebraic definition, it states that a set of points in the plane such that the sum of the distances from two fixed points called foci remains constant. From each point in the plane, the sum of the distances to the foci is a constant. Okay, so notice that in the ellipse, kanang red na point will be our foci. So foci is the plural form for focus. So kung ang parabola o sorry focus, ang ellipse karon has two foci. Okay, we call it foci 1 and another one, we have foci, uh, focus 2. So, one is here, um, focus 1 and this is focus 2 and we call them foci. There is a point na naasa ellipse. When we call it A, the distance from point A to one focus, we call it distance, distance 1. And then the distance from point A again to the second focus, we call it D sub 2. So when we add... Uh, the distance 1 plus distance 2, that would be equal to C. If another point B, somewhere na put sa ellipse, and then the distance from point B to 1 focus, or focus 1, we call it again as distance 1, and the distance from B to the second focus, we call it D sub 2. Therefore, the sum of distance 1 plus distance 2 is equal to C. Meaning, constant ang ilang sum. Okay? Masabtan? So, mo na si Jay, puti pasabot nga bisag unsa nga point nga naa sa plane, the sum of the distances from that point 
ngadto sa duha ka foci then magpabili na nga constant okay so we have here the parts of the ellipse what are the different parts we have here the first one is we have the center nasa tunga then we have the two foci then we have the two major axes and the major axis the major axis kanang yellow connected by the two points here the two end points of the major axis is what we call as the vertices and we have the minor axis and the two end points are what we call as the co-vertices and then the foci the line segment connecting two foci is what we call as the focal axis okay so foci are two fixed points f1 and f sub 2 whose distances from a single point on the ellipse is a constant then focal axis is the line segment that connects the two foci whose length is 2c. Okay, c ang distance from the center to a focus. So, kay gikan man sa fo usa ka focus to another focus. So, therefore, the length is 2c. The next is vertices. And we represented it as V sub 1 and V sub 2. These are two points of intersection of the ellipse and the major axis. The major axis is the line segment that contains the foci connecting the two vertices. And the length is 2A. So from the center to a major axis, length is A. Then the minor axis, it's the line perpendicular to major axis and goes through the center of the ellipse whose length is 2B. Okay, that means from the center to a vertex, the length is B. Eccentricity, it's the ratio of C over A the shape of the ellipse depends on the eccentricity. So it is the value of E, the value between 0 and 1. And the length of the latus rectum. The plural is latera recta. So in ellipse, tuha na y latus rectum. So that is why mahimo na si jang latera recta kung sa parabola o sa relatus rectum tungod duha na may focus na foci naman ang ellipse so lateral recta na pwede siyang latus rectum kay duha naman no and the formula to get the equation of the latus rectum is 2b squared over a okay so Kung maghimo tag ellipse, so mana itong buhaton, uh, we locate the center and then I measure na to from the center to one focus. So we consider the two pins as focus and foci the eye. Then maghimo ta og stream, i loop na nimo, then imong ibutang ang pencil or pen diha, then i-rotate ni mo. So, unsay katas on sa imong focal axis, kani si Jadere, mag-depend ang imong kadak kung silbi sa imong ellipse. And also sa string, kung unsa katas on na imong string. Okay? So, dili mo na patahimuon, anak. Okay?
lahi ang ipahimo ninyo. Okay, let's proceed. Studying ellipse is important to us. Yes, very important. Why? Because uh, it can be applied in the architecture. Now, as it just said, shapes of the dahon of uban pa nasa application to biology sa engineering and earth science kung uban pa okay so we have here the equations of an ellipse so sa parabola notice that there are four different equations in the parabola in the ellipse, duharay atong equations. Okay, the first one is when the major axis is horizontal or parallel to parallel sa kanang x-axis. So, kung parallel ganit siya sa x-axis or horizontal ang imong major axis, that means, ang imong A, ang imong A here, mo over sa X. Ha? Because ang A is always greater than B. Mas taas jud ang major axis kaysa minor axis. Mo ni ang imong major axis, mo put ni ang minor axis. Sa major axis na adiha ang imong duha ka vertices, and the two foci. Kani, mug kani. Okay? So, since ang imong major is parallel to x man, so ang imong a, mo over na sa x. And then ang imong b, mo over sa y. Kay, ang imong minor axis is parallel to the y axis. So, it should be x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Where ang c squared can be solved using the formula a squared minus b squared. And then when your uh, major axis is perpendicular to your y axis, so, notice that ang imong A mo over po na sa Y. Okay? So, the equation to be used is quantity Y minus K squared all over A squared plus quantity X minus H squared over B squared equals 1. So, uh, pwede rin silang magbailo ha? mag ang X minus H magsunod ang Y minus K but Ang imong a squared ang tumo over sa y part. Okay? So, for the description of the first one, the ellipse with major axis parallel to the x axis, ang imo center diha is hk, and the foci is ang imong foci is H plus minus C K. Kaya ni nga part pareha man sila o K, di ba? Ang H sure nila maglahi mo sa o plus kag C dere minus kag C dere. Then major axis ang equation ni Jay is Y equals K and then major axis vertices Ang ilang mga vertices, we have mo add po ka o k sa h. Kay a units man ang from the center to a vertex. And then ang minor axis, ang imong equation would be x minus x equals h. And ang minor axis vertices or the co-vertex, co-vertices, we have h pareha sa center ang H but ang imong K maoy punaan ni mo o B tungod kay ang distance from the center to a uh, co-vertex 
is B. Okay? And then for the ellipse with major axis parallel to the Y axis, we have the center HK, the foci is H, and the K will be plus minus C. Tungod kay pariham si Jasa center ang imong H. Diba? And then major axis vertices, we have H kahapon, the same, then ang imong K mo ay plus ano minus ano A. And then for the minor axis, your equation would be Y equals K. And then the major axis, a uh, major no, minor axis vertices or the covertex vertices, we have ang imong H pun anda ni mo o B or minus ni mo o B then ang injang ordinate will be K. Okay? So let us now proceed to example number one. Kung wala na ipangutan na dito, if you have some questions ha, just PM me. Example number one is we are going to write the equation of an ellipse in general form whose vertices are negative 3 and negative 4 in 7, negative 4 and whose minor axis is a length of 4 units. So notice that in order to solve this one to write an equation we need to have a, B, the center, and the position of the principal axis or the major axis. Yung hindi kita kang sabot um, o sa position, position ni dyan, nagtumbaba or nagbarog, mahitabo, maglisod tao identify kung um, saan nga formula or equation na itong gamitan. Okay? So, notice that from the given, we have uh, vertex 1 with coordinates negative 3, negative 4, and vertex 2 has coordinates 7, negative 4. Okay. So, makita na to nga, ang first na to nga pangitaon is ang center. So, to find the center, we need to use the mid fo midpoint formula, which is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2, then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So, the center would be, uh, ito i-add ang negative 3 plus 7 all over 2 then negative 4 plus negative 4 all over 2 which will give us um, negative 3 plus 7 is 4 over 2 and then negative 8 over 2 so therefore the center is at 2 negative 4 okay so next is we have the A. We'll say distance from the center to any of the two vertices. Para makit ana to ang A. So kung atong gamiton ang, ang first one, we have vertex one which is negative three, negative four. Ang atong A would be equal to the absolute value of since the, the same naman ilang y so dili na nato ya pilog solve so it's the absolute value of negative 3 minus 2 negative 3 minus 2 then that is why it is equal to the absolute value of negative 5 and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 okay and to find the B, the length of the, the distance from the center to any 
po ang uh, center to a co vertex. It's the B. And we are given here that the length of the minor axis is 4 units. And we know that minor axis is equal to 2B. So that's why 2B is equal to 4. And then from there, since 2B is equal to 4, B is equal to 2. Okay? So since we have already the, the important values, we have already the center, the A, and the B. Next is we are going to identify the position of the major axis. So the best thing to do is to plot the different points sa imong Cartesian plane para makahibaw ka nga. sa imong position. Okay? So, we have negative 3 and 4. Negative 3, 4 is here. And then Seven negative four is here. Then two negative four is here. Okay, so there is a s vertex one, one ang imong vertex two, then one ang imong center nga two negative four. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Diba? 5 na si ja? That means A is 5. So, since your major axis is parallel to the x-axis, then ang imong equation nga gamiton is kantong quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared nay di man mao kadali over a squared ja over po ni b squared equals 1 okay ang imong a squared mo over sa imong x minus h tungod kay your major axis is parallel to the x-axis. Okay? Ito sa nang padoon ng atong illustration. Okay, ano makasuwat sa itong equation? Okay. So, our h here is 2 and our k is negative 4. So, therefore, this equation becomes quantity x minus x minus 2 squared over 5 squared plus quantity y minus the negative of 4 squared over 2 squared equals 1. So, we can now have quantity x minus 2 squared over 25 plus quantity y plus 4 squared over 4 equals 1. Okay, so on ni atong standard form of equation. Since we need to simplify, kaya natong ipangita kay general form and dapat na zero ang right side. And then first thing to do is to eliminate the denominators. That's why we need to multiply everything by 100. So 100 times this one, my eliminated and 25. Then what will be left is 4. So 4 times quantity when we simplify using special product formula should be x squared minus 4x 
x squared minus 4x, the product of x times negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x, plus the square of negative 2 is 4. Then plus 100 multiplied by this one, makanseled out ang 4, because 100 divided by 4 is 25. Then times the square of quantity y plus 4 is equal to y squared plus 4y times 2 is 8y. Then plus the square of 4 is 16 equals 100. Okay. So, simplifying further, 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16x. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus, 25 times y squared is 25y squared. Then, 25 times 8y is positive 200y. Then 25 times 16 is positive 400 minus 100 is equal to 0. Okay? Arranging the terms and then combining those terms with no x and y or the constant terms. Therefore, we can now come up the required equation and this is equal to 4x squared plus 25y squared minus 16x plus 200y. Then 16 plus 400 is 416 minus 100. That would be positive 316 equals 0. Okay, so that is why we arrived at the required equation. Okay? okay. Next is we are going to find an equation in general form of the ellipse whose foci are up to neg negative 2, 4. So meaning F1 is negative 2, 4 and F2 is at negative 2, 10 and a vertex at negative 2, 12 okay again to find the center since we are given uh, two foci we can use again the formula of finding the midpoint. So the center would be uh, adding negative 2 plus negative 2 all over 2 and then 4 plus 10 over 2. It's the middle point of the two foci. So this will be equal to negative 4 over 2 and 14 over 2. So that's why the center is at a negative 2 positive 7. Okay? And from here, the distance, your A, would be the distance from a vertex to the center. So since pariha naman sila og x, ato ang kuhaon is ang y ra subtracting or getting the absolute value of 12 minus 7. That's why the distance is 5 units. Okay? So if we are going to graph or plot the different points,
okay this is one focus and then put pa di ris babaw mo pa ni ang usa ka focus so the center is four five six seven yeah So, since the focal axis is parallel to the Y, therefore, atong formula nga gamiton is ang imong A at 2 na ma-over sa imong Y. Okay? But before that, ato sa pangitaon si B. So, si C pa man. So, pwede na mo-count ka din ni C from the vert center to focus we have 1, 2, 3, 3 your C is 3 so pwede po o gikan diri 4 minus 7 gikan ka sa focus will be to a center imong kuhaan o absolute value the difference of the absolute, the absolute value of the difference of kantong dili mag equal so 4 minus 7 or 10 minus 7 so that is why it is equal to Okay, so the equation we are going to Uy. Di man takaan doon no? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Okay, so again, ang sara ganito Ang imong A is equal to 5 and imong C is equal to 3. So, to find B, we are going to use, di ba, ang formula kay C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So, to find B, kung ang B imong pangitaon, si C mo imong balahin din to. So, that's why A squared minus C squared. So, to get the B, it would be equal to the square root of e squared is 5 squared minus 3 squared or the b is equal to the square root of 25 minus 9 so b therefore is the square root of 16 which is equal to plus minus 4 so it is equal to 4 units okay so nakahibaw naman ta ganina na sa tong drawing ah the major axis is vertical. So that's why the equation we are going to use is quantity x minus h squared over b squared plus quantity y minus k squared over a squared is equal to 1. Okay? Matong center kay Mm, negative 2, 7. Diba? So, the edge there is negative 2. So, we can now have x minus negative 2 squared over 4 squared plus y minus 7 squared over 5 squared equals 1 so we can simplify this one as quantity x plus 2 squared over 16 plus quantity y minus 7 squared over 25 equals 1 okay to eliminate the 16 and 25 we need to multiply everything by 400 the LCD of 16 and 25. So multiplying 400 times this one, we can cancel the 16 and what will be left is 25. So 25 times the square of quantity x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 400 divided by 25 is 16 multiplied by 
the square of quantity y minus 7 is equal to y squared minus 14y plus 49 equals 400. That would be 400 times 1. So 25 times x squared is 25x squared. 25 times 4x is 100x. Then 25 times 4 is 100. Then 16 times y squared is 16y squared. 16 times negative 14 is negative 224y. Then 16 times 49 is uh, positive 784 minus 400 is equal to 0. Okay, simplifying and combining similar terms, we now have x squared plus 16y squared plus 100x minus 224y then 100 plus 784 is 884 minus 400 that's why we can now have positive 484 equals zero okay that is for uh example number number two next is Example number three, we are going to express the given uh, general form to standard form. Okay, so number three given is we have x squared plus 4y squared plus 6x plus 16y plus 21 equals 0. The first thing to do is to transpose 21 to the right side and then we are going to uh, join the terms with same variable. Meaning, si x squared, motapad ni 6x and then si 4y squared will be combined with 16y and then 21 becomes negative 21. After I know we need to use completing the squares. So we have x squared plus 6x then divide 6 by 2 and that is why we now have 3 and the 3 will be squared so uh, 3 squared is 9. Okay. Or ang 6 the times 1 half. 1 half of 6 is 3. Then squaring 3, that becomes 9. The next is we have to factor out 4. Pagawa si 4. Because 4 is common to 4y squared and 16y. So, in factor out nemo, 4y squared divided by 4 is y squared. 16y divided by 4 is 4y. And then, I complete nemo square, ang 4 I times 1 half, that would be equal to 2. Then, squaring the 2, that would give us 4. Equals negative 21. So, notice that nag ta from ani. Ang na-add na to is positive 9. So, mag-add ng 9 dire. And, nag-add po taong 4. But, since ang 4 is na may 4 sa outside. So, 4 times 4 is actually we are adding 16. So, factoring this one, it will give us uh, x quantity x plus 3 squared plus 4 times quantity y plus 2 squared equals negative 21 plus 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25 minus 21 equals 4. Okay? So, since ang um, standard form is dapat 1 man ang right side, 
that means we are going to divide everything by by 4. So that's why we can have quantity x plus 3 squared all over 4 plus quantity y plus 2 squared over 1 equals 1. So from here, we can conclude that 4 of 1, 4 is greater than 1. Ano atong basihan kay ang, ang a squared man maida ko. So that means from here, your a squared is equal to 4 and your b squared is equal to 1 and the center is Ang imong center there would be uh, negative 3. Kasi dyan may x, no? x minus h mana negative 3, negative 2. Okay? So, the length of the focal axis is pangitaon pa na nato. Uh, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So, therefore, for minus 1, is equal to 3. So your C there is the square root of 3 plus minus 3. Okay? So that means ang imong length. So ang imong A squared kay 4 man. So that means your A is 4. Oh no, 2. And your B is 1. So meaning ang length sa imong of major access is 4 gihapon kay 2 man imong a times 2 is 4 length po, po sa minor minor access is 2 times 1 is 2 and the length of the focal axis is 2 square root of 3. Okay? That is approximately equal to 3.46. Okay? Sige. Let's proceed to the fourth example. Number 4 is we have given 16x squared plus 4y squared plus 96x minus 8y plus 84 equals 0. Okay, joining together, we have 16x squared plus 96x plus 4y squared minus 8y equals negative 84. So, factoring out the 16, which is common to both 16x squared and 96x. So, 16x squared divided by 16 becomes x squared. And 96x divided by 16, that will give us 6x. And then, 6 times 1 half is 3. Then, 3 squared is 9. Plus, 4 which is common to 4y squared and negative 8y. So 4y squared divided by 4 is y squared. Negative 8y divided by 4 is negative 2y. Uh, negative 2 times 1 half is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Equals negative 84 plus 16 times 9 what is 16 times 9 that will give us 144 and then 4 times 1 is positive 4 so this one becomes 16 quantity x plus 3 squared then plus 4 quantity y minus 1 squared is equal to Negative 84 plus 144 is uh, 80. No, 60 plus 4 is 64. 
Okay, to make 64, 1, I divide na to everything by 64. So, 16 and 64, you can cancel 16. And what is left in the denominator, we have over 4. Plus 4 and 64, cancel out na to ang 4. What will be left in the denominator is 16 equals 1. So from here, we can say that the center is at a negative 3, 1. The position of our major axis is parallel to the y because the the 16 nga dako ang a ni mo a squared is na denominator sa imong y. Okay, so your a squared is 16, giving us a equals 4. And then b squared is 4, your b is equal to 2. Then to get the c, c squared is equal to 16 minus 4. That's why we have 12. So your c, therefore, is the square root of 12 or the same as Square root of 4 is 2. 2 square root of 3. Okay? So that is why your length of the major axis, which is equal to 2a, two, two so multiplying 4 by 2, that's why we have 8. And the b will be multiplied by 2 to get the length of minor axis. So 2 times 2 is 4. And the length of the focal axis, this one will be multiplied by 2. Therefore, it is equal to 4 square root of 3 or approximately 6.92. Okay. So, next one, the last one would be... We are going to write an equation of the semi-elliptical semi niche of Mama Mary's niche, elliptical niche of Mama Mary located in front of Immaculate Conception Parish Church. If the dimension of the niche is 10 feet high at the center and 14 feet across at the base. So, ni ang purma, anak. So, pasilo ang di kanyo klaro, no? Pero, at least, ang naklaro niya is ang, ang semi-ellipse. So, notice that we are given that 10 feet high, that means, kani, from the center pa dong din to is 10 so your a is 10 and then coming from the 14 mangkononi uh, across the base that means 2b is 14 so this implies that your b is 7 so from here we have already to write an equation ramanta so therefore uh, your a is 10 and your b is 7 and notice that ang imong major kay kanima no half of the major axis is vertical man so meaning it's parallel to the y axis that's why an imong equation would be quantity x minus h squared over b squared plus quantity y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. So in this case, we are going to consider that the center is at the, the origin. So that, why, that is why x minus 0 squared over 7 squared plus quantity y minus 0 squared over 10 squared equals 1. So, x minus 0 is x squared over 49 plus y squared over 100 equals 1. 
so multiplying everything by by 100 so that we can have 100 to 100x squared over 49 plus y squared equals 100 so, nga to ra, eliminate ra na to ang denominator sa y squared kay aron nga, mahimo na lang si Jiang y kay iba semi-elliptical man eh. So, actually, dari pa daan na, na, na achieve na na to ang equation for the whole ellipse. So, tungod kay half raman, semi raman si Jia. So, pangitawan na to ang y, ang y may adong solbon in terms of x. So, y squared becomes 100 minus 100 x squared over 49. So, to find the equation y is equal to the square root of 100 minus 100 x squared over 49. Okay, so mauna na ang atong final equation for the semi-elliptical niche of Mama Mary. Okay? So, did you learn something? Okay, so you are going to answer your activity sheet number 3 and the assessment huh? okay so for now i have here something mankind is not a circle with a single center but it is considered as ellipse with two focal points of which facts are one and ideas the other from victor hugo thank you for Lessening, and I do hope na inasamtan sa atong discussion today. God bless everyone. Bye bye.